hope you're keeping well. In this video, I would like to show you how to create a mandala. But it's not just any mandala. This mandala is made from printing found objects and vegetables and fruits found around the house. Isn't that cool? So, what's a mandala, you ask? Well, it literally translates from Sanskrit as circle. So, keeping that in mind, everything that we create in the mandala is in a circular form, working from the inside all the way out to the edges. Okay, the colours are up to you. We've heard before that colours can probably mean different things, but the true meaning of the colour is what you give it, how it makes you feel. task you're going to need quite a big piece of paper so that you have lots of room to work with. This paper itself is quite thick. I actually got it in Recreate Ireland and um, they had loads of scrap paper there so this is actually repurposed and reused um, which is pretty cool in itself. So that's your paper. Next you're going to need a ruler and a pencil to create a kind of a guide for yourself on the paper just so that you can keep going in a nice pattern. Then you're going to need a handful of objects and things found around the house. I have an example of what I used. So I cut up a mushroom because I really really love the shape of the inside of a mushroom. I had a potato and if anybody has done potato printing before, you know that you can make little shapes using a pencil or just digging into your potato to give it a little bit of extra texture. I also used some celery because I think the shape here at the bottom is really interesting. I used a series of lids, like milk carton lids, um, a lid from like Ribena or whatever, um, a lid from a yogurt tub, my old favourite, the coffee capsule. I absolutely love them. They're really versatile and they're really just easy to use for printing. I cut up an egg box and I found some nice interesting shaped parts of the egg box. I particularly like this one, as you can see it's used already. So there's no harm in reusing things that you've already used for different projects. And the whole thing is sitting on a tray that I got with my apples <laughs> during the week. So don't forget that things like this can be reused to hold your art materials. Speaking of trays, I also got this beautiful tray from ordering sushi. But I find it really, really handy for putting paint in because it's washable, it's reusable, and it's also sealable. If you want to keep a certain color that you've made, just put the lid on and put it away. And then it's not, it's pretty durable in that if it fell over, it's not gonna fall out, stuff like that. But they're beautiful and ideal for this. If you don't have one of these, obviously you can use something else. I'm just saying, that's what I used. <laughs> So then after that, once you've gathered your materials and you've gathered um, all the other bits that you have, oh, the last thing you have to get is your paint. You can use paint, you can use food colouring, you can use ink, you can use whatever you want, whatever you, whatever is a kind of liquid form and a good pigment, a good amount of colour in it so that you can easily dip whatever you're dipping in and print it on and the colour will transfer nicely. So I use some poster paint. They're really, really cheap um, and I have loads of them because <laughs> I'm a bit of a fan of our materials. But then all that's left to do is to get stuck in with your mandala. And here's the video of how I did it. Enjoy. Now we are going to create the grid on our paper. We need to find the centre of the page. 
So along the top of your page, mark the halfway point. Do the same on the bottom. Join these lines together. Then you're going to do the same thing on the sides. Find the halfway point along the side and the halfway point on the other side and join those dots together. Where the lines cross will be the center of your page. Now we're going to draw the diagonals coming from each corner of your page to the center line. Once you have that done, we can now start printing our mandala, starting from the centre of the page and working outwards, following a lovely symmetrical pattern the whole way.